Hello everyone, today I want to have a look at particles. Particles can be used to simulate effects like smoke, sparks, mist and all other sorts of things. You can emit effects with particles. So for this example, I wanted to use a particle effect when the player jumps and lands back on the ground. So let's get into it. To create this effect for a player, we first have to create a scene with a particle effect in it. So let's get started by creating a scene. Go to the top left scenes, new scene. And make the root node a particle effect, a 2D particle effect. And save it in our scenes folder. Let's call it particles 2D. Let's zoom in. And now we have a particle. We get a warning message saying that we have to add a material to it. So we can do that by on the right clicking process material and clicking new particles material. This is just a simple way to create a particles effect. You can see here now it has a dripping effect. We're going to change that into something that explodes. So let's try to do that. If you click on the material, it will show all kinds of settings to adjust your particles. So let's try to play around with it. I have it on emitting now, so it will keep uh, going. Let's see what we can do to make it more circular. Let's change the spread into 180. As you can see, there's still gravity applied to it, so let's remove that. Now it's not doing anything. Now we add some velocity to it. And if you see here, if you go back to 45, it will go only to the right and 180. So you can adjust this however you like, to put it to 90. So it's nice to play around with this and see what uh, works for you. There's a velocity at 100. Now you can see some particles going all sides. Let's create a few more of those. We can change the amount to 50. Doesn't look bad. Maybe even more, 100. 80. Okay. Let's see, do we need to do something else? Direction, gravity. I think this gives a nice view. So let's save this. And now it keeps playing. So what we can do is we can set em emitting to off and then we can do one shot. If we then press emitting, it will only play once and then stop. If we do that. So if we set the one shot on on, the emitting will be a boolean that will be turned off afterwards. Nice. So what we want to do now is, in our player we want to use this, that when the player hits the ground it will emit the particles we just made. So we have to go into the main scene. I think the easiest way to show this on the player is to just create a position 2D on the bottom of the feet of the player. So we can just emit the particle effect from there. So right click the player, add child node, position 2D. And if we use the W key or the move key, we can, here we see the position, and drag it to the bottom of the player. And now we go into the player script. Now we want to create a reference to the position, so we do on ready for particle position is, and then with the dollar sign we can reference it, it position. And now what we want to do is we want to load the particles to D scene, so we can do that by doing var particle scene is preload. Now we can preload the particle scene, so we can. When we want to use this, we can create an instance of the scene, which only has the particle 2D, and then we can add that as a child to the scene in this, to the tree in this scene. 
and show it to the player. So let's do that. And we want it on jumping. So here we have the simple logic for jumping. And now we have to check when the player hits the floor. So if we do else if And here we can add the logic for our particle. So what we first have to do is we have to create an instance of the scene. And we can do that by creating a particle instance. Yes. Particle scene instance. So now we've created an instance of the scene, which will be saved in this variable. And then we can add this instant to the current tree of this scene. And now we want to change the position. So we do particle set position. And we want to set it on the position of the particle position. So we do particle position This. And now we want to set the emitting to true, so it run once. Maybe it's nicer to move these up with the initialization and then add the child when we did everything. And now it will keep running because every time is on floor is true, it will keep emitting. So we have to create a simple boolean. We can use the jumping boolean to switch it on and off. So when this happened, jumping is false. And when you're able to jump, we said jumping is true. And then here we can check and jumping. So when it is on the floor and jumping is true, then it will play this. Then it will set jumping to false and then it won't play it until the player jumps again. So let's see if this works. Press play. And walk, let's jump. That's a really small effect, but it works. Let's change the size of it. Let's go back into the particle scene. You can set the scale and leave. Four times. You see how big it is here. Let's try it again, press play. Wow, it's quite long. So let's speed it up. Press play again. Okay, well, that's very fast. But at least we have a particle effect that doesn't look great, but it does something. And this is an easy way to do something with particles. I hope you liked it. Have a nice day.